Hey guys, Captain Ratchet here, back at it again with Thunderslap Tech. And in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing, or I guess opening, the Zoe Mouse Fitting Kit. Now this is actually the biggest box that I've ever had come in the mail. And there's only mice in here, that's it. So we're gonna open this box up and we're gonna see what's going on here. Um, now to do that, I'm gonna have to find my keys because that's where my little blade is. I have to cut the sides too. Jeez, there's just a lot of tape around this. this. Whoa. So that's the Zoe Mouse fitting kit. It's actually a really big box for this thing. That's gonna get in the way. So this is the mouse fitting kit. All right, so let's open this box up. So as you can see, we have as unique as you, it has the EC1, EC2, S1, S2, FK1+, FK1, FK2, Z11, Z812, and the ZA13. And it's got a bunch of other options. It's got, I'm guessing this is your user guide now let's take off this protective uh, foam and there you go. So all of these mice are actually um, gonna be used. They're not brand new. So if you're new to PC or want to find out what type of mouse shape fits you best, the Zoe Mouse Fitting Kit is a $10 package by Zoe, which sends you every model of mice available in their current lineup. Now you do have to return all the mice in perfect condition, but Zoe gives you a two week time frame for you to test out all the mice. Now, if you don't return the mice, you will be charged on your card for that. It will come out to over a hundred dollars or depending on how, how many mice you keep, um, which I would recommend you don't keep any of these mice because a lot of these mice are used and their clicks are not as great as the original freshly new packaged mouse. So this is really just a way for you to determine what shape you prefer. And then after you return all the mice, you can buy a brand new Zoe mouse or any other mouse that has the same shape. Now, since I do use so many different types of mice, I, I can easily adapt to most of these mice. Like I tried them out and most of them felt pretty comfortable. I did have to change my grip on a few of them, but most of the shapes are top tier. This is why Zoe is king because shape is king. Now I'm not going to review every single one of these mice because every single one of these mice have been reviewed by several different people and there's a lot of videos out there about every single one of these mice. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go over to my little brother and um, ask him what mouse he prefers because he's kind of he's newer to PC. I'm trying to get him on PC. He's a console pleb. Um, so what I've done is I've lined up all these mice. Now right now this is my hand testing out all of them. I personally, I can play with any one of these shapes. Uh, the ones that feel really comfortable though are like the FK1 Plus to me and the FK1. Um, the least liked one for me is the EC2 just cause it's kind of small and I tend to kind of have to claw it. But anywho, I don't really need to find a mouse shape. You know, I'm rocking the Razer Viper uh, wireless or the ultimate, sorry. So I'm gonna be asking my little brother what shapes he prefers. We're gonna go through each one and ask his opinion about it. I said it's your turn to try them out. Okay, one, how do you feel about that one? I like it. It's shape wise, it's big, it yeah. is big. Mm. They're both okay, comfortable. Man. They're both comfortable? Yeah. I know. That's, that's, that's why it's just bigger. This one's smaller though. That's comfortable? You have to change your grip on that one? Yeah. It's oh. kind of, it feels like the extra fine one. Feels like the extra fine one? Yeah. Mm. EC2B? Yeah. I don't know. I like most of them. Yeah, that's what I thought too. This one's weird. I think this one's like more claw. I 
I like that one too. Shape wise? Uh, yeah. S2. Z. Uh, ZA11. ZA11. Feels kind of weird. Feels weird? Yeah. Too big or too small? Too big. This one feels slightly smaller. Well, that's what that's all it is. They're yeah. the same exact ones, except each one is smaller. They're the same shape, but it's smaller. Oh. I didn't like the ZAs. So yeah. there you have it. My little brother's first impressions with each one of these mice. So my hand size is 20 centimeters by 8 centimeters. And my little brother's hand is very similar, but my palm is a little wider. As you can see, despite the fact that we have very similar hand shapes, he prefers different types of mice than I do. He prefers different shapes. So hand size does help when selecting a mouse, but at the end of the day, two different people with the same hand size might prefer different types of mice. All right, guys. So I'm not going to be reviewing every single mouse in that kit because that's been done before by other reviewers, and I, I really don't have enough time to review every single one. I only have two weeks to select it. So what we're going to do is me and my little brother are both going to try to test out all the shapes, and uh, depending on you know how we feel about it, we're gonna tell you guys which which shape I prefer, which shape he prefers, um, and so this is a two-part video. Next video, we're gonna be deciding and, and really just how great a value this is. You know, if you're outside the country, however, you're not gonna be able to use the Zoe Mouse Fitting Kit. This is only available in the U.S. of A. But if you're in the U.S. of A, you're new to competitive gaming. You don't know what shape you like. I think this is a great kit to use, just so you can. You don't have to buy any Zoe Mice, but it, it helps you choose what type of shape you like. Uh, maybe you like a symmetrical shape or an ergonomic shape, or you like bigger mice rather than smaller mice, or you prefer claw grip over palm grip. I think if you're really unsure of a shape, using the Zoe Mouse Fitting Kit, it'll give you a solid basis to really you know know what you want from a mouse. I, honestly, I really don't like Zoe Mice too much only because I just like lightweight mice. Uh, I'm currently maining the Razer Viper wireless and I'm really loving that mouse. Um, but again, this is just to help you establish what type of shape you like. And a lot of companies will have similar shapes. So yeah, anywho guys, this has been my review or has this been part one? Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, I lo love you. I miss you, and I wish I had a lot of freaking money to buy more mice because I really can't afford these mice. Holy sh! Obviously, right now I don't really like Zoe mice too much. Too. Keep rolling. Keep rolling.